so is finding the strike zone. And Tino Martinez apparently did not like getting plunked in the fifth inning. And Batista just staring him down, and Tony La Russa disbelieves. When you drill somebody and you stare at him like he stared, that is so unprofessional and so intentional looking that, you know, we'll, we'll see how MLB handles it. I mean, he just stared at him like, hey, I meant to do it the whole time. Get staring and staring. That's ridiculous. Well, next batter is Drew, who grounds to second and forces out Martinez. And Tino is coming off the field. And apparently, there's some words exchanged as Martinez looks in the direction of Batista. And, and we're playing the field! We're playing the field! People coming off the benches! Punch it! On Easter Sunday. This is, this is not right. It's not right. My grandmother would say, boy, your mind's bad. Hmm. Tino separated, and Batista throwing the ball at Tino, who seemed to get in a punch. And... That's why he was having trouble fighting the strike zone. Is that what it was right there? Tino standing right in front of him. Wow. At any rate, we sort things out, and Batista's day is over, as is Tino's. As for the game, top nine, one nothing Diamondbacks. Jeff Fisero, oh boy. Hits Luis Gonzalez right in the chops. Fisero ejected, and after the game, he didn't mince any word. Three game. Top eight, J.D. Drew looking at a 3-1 count. Now looking at a full count. That's going to get Tony La Russa's attention. And La Russa's opinions are going to get him thumbed by Mike Winters. Drew. And Troy O'Leary. 2-1 pitch. Called ball three. Tony La Russa didn't think so. And he lets Matt Hollowell know about it. Bottom seven now. Prior pitching to Chris Widger. 1-1 pitch called strike two. La Russa argues the call. And, well, Tony was asked to leave. His third ejection of the season. It's the game after one and two-thirds, strained left shoulder. Top of the third, Scott Rowland hits the third. And Gardo Alfonso, another nominee there. Rowland would argue the play. Oh, what do you think? There's no question it's a great play by Alfonso, but out or safe? Tony La Russa says safe. Home plate umpire Jim Reynolds says not only is your player out, you are too. After Etino Martinez homer, Turk Wendell hits Edgar Renteria. The third Cardinal batter hit tonight, and Tony La Russa says enough of that. Comes out, tears up his lineup card. Isn't he so cool when he gets tossed? Yeah, I've never seen a manager that cool getting tossed. He's like, all right, man. In the ninth, it's six. Precautionary back on Thursday. The waters by the three rivers, relatively calm in the two games since, until the ninth. Mike Gonzalez up in Tony Womack's kitchen. Jason Kendall has some things to say to Tony La Russa in the dugout. Brian Gorman, the umpire, says to La Russa, do not come out here. Lloyd McClendon later said, I'm not going to let anybody holler at my players. And now everybody's hollering. Shades of La Russa and Dusty Baker last year did not, did too. My dad's bigger than your dad. Shut up. No, you shut up. <laughs> Standoff was a stalemate. A game which to the Redbirds, who have a four-game sweep in Pittsburgh. Everybody ejected. Cards win 4-2. The rules have changed. And Euclid has hit on the hand. Are the wrist. Reyes is ejected. I mean, I know that Euclid was hit by the pitch. But that certainly wasn't in the category of obvious as that ball was off the inside part of the plate. Euclid just walked right into it. This crowd loves Reyes more than they ever have. Tony doesn't have a great angle on this pitch. That ball's definitely inside, but Tony can't see that from where he is, and now he's coming out. I'm pretty sure Tony's already been ejected from this ball game. He's going to go out there now and really let Phil Cuzzy have it. And really, it's not as much that pitch as it is this whole inning. LaRusse has not been happy with a number of the balls and strikes called. Here in the bottom half of the seventh. All third strikes. Maybe an extended outside corner there. Greg Gibson thought it got the edge of the outside corner. What do you think at home? Tough to tell there. Yeah, Tony LaRusa coming out and talking to Greg Gibson. And he got tossed for the first time this year. And that's Tim McClellan, the crew chief, trying to restore a little order. But Greg Gibson and Tony La Russa were going nose to nose. It was pretty good entertainment. 
Hoffman trying to shut the door for the win. The first pitch to Yadier Molina looked high. It's called a strike. Tony La Russa not impressed with the call. And he gets tossed by Mark Carlson for arguing balls and strikes. But maybe it worked. Harron is now history. He's taking a shower. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Yadier Molina right in the face of Brandon Phillips. And we've yet to set the stage about everything that happened. And you get a look at it. For those who may not have known, Brandon Phillips last night to both Jim Day and Hal McCoy made some comments about the Cardinals, saying he hates the Cardinals and used some less than family language in his descriptions. And as soon as Brandon got to the plate, Yadier Molina got in his face. And Phillips sparked the whole thing. We will know until after a game exactly what was said. Now Scott, Scott Rowland is getting into it. And now it is turning ugly. In it with Chris Carpenter. And Carpenter's the one down there chirping. Carpenter had issues with his own teammates last night, and it is getting really ugly as we've got punches and kicks. Johnny Cueto, the starting pitcher, is being wrestled away. And this is not good at all because this is the kind of situation where somebody can, can get up, get hurt, get their finger stepped on, and it's just not baseball. I'm hoping that the umpires can get this thing under control and we can get on to playing the game of baseball because nothing is going to be solved by this. We pops it foul. We had a delay before starting the bottom of the fourth because of a long and increasingly heated chat between Tony LaRussa and Joe West. This thing went on for a good two and a half minutes. I doubt Tony is upset at Joel that he didn't send him his latest CD. <laughs> Where is this pitch? Three and two. And I believe we were looking at the uh, the highlight. I think Jim Joyce just ejected Pujols. Otherwise, Tony La Russa really couldn't be out there talking right now. You'd be arguing a ball and strike, which you're really not allowed to do. There's a bunt back to Zepchinski. Doesn't even look to second and throws wild, but Albert gets back on the base and the umpire says he missed it. That was Greg Gibson who said that Albert did not step on the base and Albert's got an argument and so does Tony La Russa. I thought he kicked it the first time, but then he complicated it by going again. So the sacrifice and then E1 with a high throw. He's saying he got the corner of the bag. And we'll see from this angle. Pulls him off the bag. And then he touches it, clearly touches it. Clearly touches the bag, and I think Tony's been tossed. 3 2 pitch. Telez takes ball four. It's a bases loaded walk, and it's 3 0 Milwaukee now. Nine walks in the game for this inning. Tony LaRusse is going to have a conversation with Ryan Burry here. I think he wants to talk with John Lipka. And now there he goes. So he just got the heave hole from the home plate umpire. 1 2. Strike three, and Jimenez jumps up in frustration, and he's almost getting thrown out, but Estabrook held himself back as Jimenez down on strikes, and they have thrown out. Hey, dude. I mean, those are three brutal misses. Hey, they might run him. What's the, what's the deal here? Chris Conroy's coming. That might be it. They might run him here. Remember a number of the White Sox. He got, he got tossed. And Tony will want an explanation for sure. Tony's starting to get a little more animated. And away he goes. Tony LaRusse ejected. I think Tony's asking, where's the warning? The chant is Tony. And now we have 
some words from the Sox dugout. Tony LaRusso wants a conversation with David Rackley, and that's not going to last very long. Tony's been thrown out by Rackley. Well, you pretty much know when you take that first step that you're doing this to get thrown out of the game, and maybe, maybe this will. And Tim not real happy with Nick Marlin. And Nick runs him after boxing a ball in his second oh, at bat in the third. Tim can't, he cannot hit him with his helmet, and that's what Marley is saying. And. Tony's got to get out there and get in between him so he doesn't bump him again. Yeah, that's not good. No, and I think that one's going to cost him. Tony got the heave ho, which you would expect after something like that. And Leary Garcia will take over the at bat.